Versace. And I'm Mike. And welcome to today's video, which is sponsored by Right On Brackets. We are using Right On Brackets to make a floating breakfast bench in our dining room. So let's get to it. Let's do it. For this project, we used a couple of two by fours, three quarter inch white oak plywood, a strip of real wood for the face, wood screws, wood glue, clamps, finish nails, and wood putty. So first we'll secure the brackets to the studs and then we'll make the frame of the bench like so. And you'll notice that we added some extra wood to secure to the brackets. Then we'll add plywood to the top and then real wood for the front and the sides of the bench. So first we had to remove the drywall and Mike did that with our multi-tool. Then we secured each bracket with our right angle drill and we made sure that each bracket was level. We decided to use right on bracket for a couple of reasons. These are made in the USA. They are beautifully powder coated. They've also got these nice beveled edges here. So if you're using them for a countertop or on your kitchen island, if somebody puts their hand underneath, they won't cut themselves. This uh, company also is the only one that includes a countersunk hole so you can directly screw into your piece of wood, your shelf, your counter. Um, that's a really nice feature to have. These brackets come with six uh, mounting holes. You can use wood screws, which we did here. They also make a, a left and right sided bracket. You can specify that when you order it. They come in different lengths. And these are super strong. They can hold up to 100 to 250 pounds, um, depending on the size that you order. And if you combine another bracket with it and have the weight evenly distributed, uh, that weight capacity doubles. So we've got four here for our floating bench and it is super strong. We've got these installed and we are ready to go ahead and secure our bench to it. So I lost the footage of us actually building the frame of the bench, but this is literally exactly how we did it. After we framed it up, we secured it with a screw right there in that little hole. Then we used our table saw to cut the plywood that will go on the top of the bench. After we cut the plywood top, it was time to secure it, so I put a ton of wood glue on the frame of the bench. We put the plywood top down and then secured it with a couple of finished nails. So now that we have secured the top piece of plywood to the frame, we're gonna secure this piece of wood that we uh, cut down and planed, and that is gonna secure right on here. We're gonna use wood glue and finish nailers on that, and then we also cut a small piece for the side. So I put a ton of wood glue on this front strip of wood as well, and then I put some painter's tape just to hold it up while I could get some finish nails in, and we repeated this process on the side as well. The last step was to fill the nail holes with wood putty and then put a clear coat on it. I added this bench cushion from Home of Wool and I think it turned out pretty cute. I hope you found this helpful and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.